Okay, it's about uh, 8.40 in the morning on March 26th, and I have three B packages in the car that we just picked up from Rocky Hill Apiaries in uh, Stafford, Virginia. I'm going to be a little concerned about installing these today because they're calling for snow, if you can believe it, this late in the season. Um, but excited about getting my first set of bees for the season. I'm not afraid. What do you think? Tell me nice. Yeah, how yeah. you're just acting right now. You are afraid. Like, how many bees are there? About ten thousand bees per box. Whoa. And we have three boxes here. So how many bees is that? Wait, ten thousand bees? Yeah. Three thousand. Right. Do you, really cool. do you think mom's gonna freak out? Yeah. yeah. Even if there's some out of the cage. Wait, how do you let them out? Well, I'm just gonna let them out here in the kitchen. I doubt that. Um, yeah. How do you let them out though? Is that, is that like the cover or something? Yeah. yeah, you pull the cover off and you shake them into the cage. Into their, I'm sorry, into their hive. But would you get stung if it, they'll get mad? No, because they're, um, they don't get mad like that. Why don't you just put them? Why don't you just put the whole cage, um, with the top off in the in the box, and then they'll just come out on their own. Um, because they can't all fit like that, dude. Oh. It's about 47 degrees today. At least that's what the official weather says. And we're up on the rooftop on March 26th, getting ready to install a package into a nuke that uh, we have ready for it. The bees are out flying in spite of the chill. And you can see our open feeding area here. Actually, here's something interesting. We were doing an experiment with Honey Bee Health, uh, homemade Honey Bee Healthy that I made. This bag right here, where the bees seem to be feeding, is just syrup, sugar syrup and Honey Bee Health, or homemade Honey Bee uh, Healthy. The other two bags over here that are very popular are just the bee tea that we've made, and you can find the you can find the recipe for that BT on the blog at www.dchoneybees.com. Also, the recipe for the homemade honeybee health. Healthy, I beg your pardon. This bag in the middle is BT plus honeybee healthy. And I just set this out yesterday. I'm thinking that the bees haven't had a chance to really discover it yet, but once they do, uh, this will be the most popular bag. But as you can see right now, just the plain BT seems to be the most popular. Now on to installing the bees. Yeah. All right, so this is the nuke. Could you point to it, Maddie? No, the other one. Yes, that's the nuke we're going to be um, hiving these bees in. And you can see the frames are all ready to go back in it on the left-hand side. Maddie, point to those. And so that's all ready. The, bee, the box is all wide open. We got the top there ready to set down on it with some um, some syrup to stick on top in that hole. And so I think we're ready to go. And you can find these the plans for this particular nuke uh, on our blog. Again, that's uh, at www.dchoneybees.com. Uh, let's get this package started. We're gonna pop the top off. You can see I'm using my trusty not official hive tube tool pulling off that piece of Luan. And you can see the can here. This is the can that had the sugar, uh, the sugar candy in it for travel. I need to lift that out. If I can, here we go. <laughs> Without disturbing.
you can see that's just a can of syrup. It's got a couple of holes in the bottom they feed out of. I'm going to find the queen in her cage, which is right here, if I can get it out. gonna hit these guys with a little bit of syrup. This makes them a little sticky. So they'll stick together, give them something to do. And then we're ready to dump these in. You ready, Maddie? Yeah. That's so cool. Creepy. We can get almost all of them in just by tapping them down to a corner, down to the bottom, just pouring them out through that hole. As someone described it, it's like pouring oil. And we'll leave this out here. Now, why don't you take your camera, Maddie, and go poke in there. Seal the bees. Now I'm going to start placing frames in, slowly. It's going to be their new home. We hit, this, hit the frames with a little bit of syrup, just so they've got something to think about. Notice that frame is sitting right on top of some bees. They'll get out of the way. Also notice, no protection. And you can see how this, this, the frames stand a little high at first when they sit on top of the bees, but then they will eventually settle down. Now this is a six frame nuke. Yeah, make sure I got that right. There's a bee in your hair. That's okay. There's a lot of bees everywhere, Maddie. All right, now for the queen. I'm going to do what's called an open re or a, a release of the queen immediately, rather than waiting for the bees to release her from the candy. So I'm going to pull out the cork from the non-candy end. I'm using a, a little bit of a, I'm going to stick my finger over it, and I'm going to put these, put this cage right inside the hive. Hopefully it can get in there. Tell you what, it was working earlier. She's in there now, in the hive. I'm getting so scared. The bees will release her. We're just going to pop the top on.
gonna walk away. That's really it. Let me get the let me get the syrup. Tip the soup syrup over just so it, all the suction works, and then we're going to place it right here on the hive. Make sure that queen is in there nice and deep. And that should be it, guys. So, what do you think, Maddie? And you're afraid, you're not afraid of the bees, are you? They're flying all over you? Kind of afraid. But you're doing okay. Uh -huh. But that was pretty quick and easy, huh? Uh-huh. Now just 53 more of those to do over the next three weeks. Uh-huh. All right, thanks for your help.